Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore remains in the news tonight. Embattled is the cliche we use. More allegations have emerged about his behavior in the 1970s and 80s. One woman says Moore sexually assaulted her at the age of 16. As evidence that the two actually knew each other, she pulled out a high school yearbook that he apparently signed. Others have accused Moore of being banned from a local shopping mall because he kept trying to pick up young women who were hanging around Orange Julius. Moore has vehemently denied all of this. Who's telling the truth? Well, at this point, it's impossible to know for sure. Here's what we do know for sure. Roy Moore should respond to specific allegations with specific explanations. It's not enough to say people don't like him for what he believes. In a recent tweet, Moore declared that, quote, the forces of evil will lie, cheat, steal, even inflict physical harm if they believe it will silence and shut up Christian conservatives. In an interview, Moore said the allegations against him are a smear by people who, quote, don't want to hear the truths about God and about the Constitution. Now, there is some truth in that. Of course, there are people who hate Roy Moore because of his beliefs, his Christian beliefs the entire American left, for example. But that's not exactly the point here. The point is that Moore has been accused of appalling behavior on the record by a number of women, not all of them liberals, at least one of them a Trump voter. Moore's response, he's claiming to be the victim of bigotry. Now, that's what demagogues do when they're cornered. That's what Al Sharpton does. Not, not everyone accused of something is guilty of it, obviously. We ought to keep that in mind, not just in Moore's case, but in all of these cases. Roy Moore has every right to protest his innocence, and maybe he is innocent. What he's not allowed to do is drag God into all of this. God is not accused of trolling for teenagers in shopping malls. This is not about Christianity. It's about Roy Moore, and it discredits Christianity when Christians allow Moore to use his faith as a shield. It's offensive to real believers. Tammy Moore is a radio host, and she joins us tonight. Um, hey. So, Tammy, I guess what bothers me, look, I, you know, I almost hate to weigh in on this because it's, it's one of those stories where, you know, everybody I disagree with who hates Roy Moore for all the wrong reasons, which is to say because of his beliefs, is weighing in on, on, on one side of it. Yeah. But I don't think that conservatives ought to follow the script that Al Sharpton wrote and practices infuriatingly, which is caught not paying his taxes, claims bias. And it looks to me like Roy Moore is doing the same thing with Christianity, a faith I happen to believe in. And so there's something really wrong about that, I think. Well, it's, it's like we've all been trained, isn't it? It's, it's like we've all been educated about how to respond to this. And the problem is, right, is that exactly. we've seen it work. We've seen it work on the left. And so this is what you've got. The, it's kind of a conflation of all the awful things that we've heard and the problems we look ranging from Teddy Kennedy, who left a woman to drown in the bottom of a lake and became the lion of the Senate to Bill Clinton. Right. Uh, and, and now you've got a man who is facing, I think, at this point, some credible uh, allegations. Uh, and there yes. is now this resistance, understandably, by people uh, to accept that uh, or at least to put up with the accusation on the point of the matter, the principle of the matter, of that we're not going to be folding like a cheap suit, or we're not going to be bullied out of a, a race or out of being able to help this country, as many people, of course, in Alabama want to do with the election of whoever will be uh, their senator. Uh, so it, it's more of, of this of this conflation and this, still this resistance to the establishment. And now, you know, you've got McConnell and others, of course, who also were funding his opposition, saying he shouldn't be there, combined with right. Tucker. The efforts to what people think is to nullify the presidential election. Now it looks like they want to nullify the primary that occurred. This is all coming together uh, in perhaps in the midst of someone like Andy Griffith's fabulous character, Lonesome Roads, or, or Elmer Gantry, as an example, is, is that this is problematic across the board. And I don't know if anyone is a winner at this point. You just go back to how you live your life and how you want your children to live theirs. If you, or I'll just say for myself, if one of my kids got caught cheating, was accused of cheating by the school, and I said, did you cheat? And he said, the school just doesn't like me because of my politics. I'd spank him. I'd say, you're not answering, that's a non sequitur. Maybe they don't like you because of your politics or whatever. But the question is, did you cheat or not? And man up and answer the question directly. Don't hide behind some non sequitur answer the question. And I don't yeah. know why we would ever allow anybody on either side to get away with that dodge.
Well, at the same time, we've also seen where there have been cheats on the other side, if you will. A lot of people yeah, think of the Duke lacrosse. Uh, well, of the, like Duke lacrosse, people think of that. They think of Tuana Brawley. Uh, they they yes. think of environments where there have been false accusations, where the media has p perpetrated false al allegations or protected those who are accused. And now yes. we've got this general rejection of any of that. Now, uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen in Alabama. I, 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 I do know that most of us are disgusted with the entire process. At the same time, those women, there are more of them, as you noted, uh, are, do seem credible. Uh, this seems to be very serious. Uh, and uh, right now, the people of Alabama, uh, they're going to want a decent alternative if they want one. But the more that this seems like it's the establishment trying to manipulate or to no, punish right. people, the more they're going to push back against it. You're, it's a very smart analysis. That's, I covered the Duke lacrosse case, by the way, and I knew those guys. I still know them. And when they were accused, they didn't claim bias, though there was bias. Yes. They said, this didn't happen, and here's why. And they were specific in their denials. And that's Good how point. you know who's telling the truth. I exactly. Think. Timmy, it was great to see you. Thank you for your clarity, Thanks, as Sucker. always.